We look, we laugh, we judge. It's human nature. Not everyone gets it right. But whether politicians rock a radical look or stick to the suit, it's never simply thrown together. Each look is as carefully chosen as Lady Gaga's. The suit. It's the obvious choice. In the world of politics, you've got to dress for success. The suit speaks and it says, I am a responsible, professional, competent, mature person. You can trust me. There's another reason why the suit wins out. The first blog. I've got all the boys and girls here, they're all helping me out. Wearing a good suit can help swing a vote by around 13%, according to research. Surely it's better to break away from the crowd and cultivate your own sense of style. It shows individualism, panache, even bravery. Some diss it as political fancy dress, but it does make for a more memorable minister. I hope to see you at the polling booth soon. Have a good taste, sir. Defying the conventional dress codes can win politicians a following if done well. Greek finance minister Yanis Varoufakis ditched the suit a long time ago and favours leather. The jury's out on whether he gets away with it. In fact, 70% of senior executives say that leather jackets can give a negative impression. 99% say big earrings are a no-no too. And 38% of bosses have admitted that choice of tie can also be a deal-breaker. Sorry, mate, but that tie is whack. I'm going to say one word. Diamante. But it's accessories that make or break an outfit. Once they're gone, they're gone. And the go-to accessory for a politician is, of course, the hard hat. It's a powerful look. It makes the statement that the wearer's not afraid of getting their hands dirty, nor of looking like a bit of a twat in exchange for your vote. The hairnet, on the other hand, still has a way to go. My name's Andreas. I'm the candidate for the... Uh... Well, uh, I hope I can rely on your vote. OK. Good. Well, I'll leave you to it. Knowing what you now know about the tricks of appearance, you can judge how skin-deep their look is and what's the naked truth. 